Are calories all the same? Someone got really mad at me on Instagram recently when I talked about the importance of reducing your calorie intake if your goal is fat loss. I don't believe that you think a thousand calories from chicken is the same as a thousand calories from donuts. Serious question, where the fuck have I ever said that? Anywhere. Lots of people just don't actually understand what they're arguing about. So let's clear this up. A calorie is a unit of measurement, in the same way that one pound of feathers weighs the same as one pound of lead. A mile is still a mile, whether you walk, run, or cycle it, right? You can walk it barefoot across a field of nails, it's still a fucking mile. From a unit of measurement perspective, a pound is a pound, a mile is a mile, a calorie is a calorie. However, critics of this would say that human bodies are not machines and things are more complicated than that. Sure? I actually don't know anyone who claims that it isn't more complicated than that. But Ben, aren't you saying that all food sources are the same? I legitimately don't know anyone that says this. Of course, you can find people that claim all kinds of crazy shit, like the earth is flat, but that's not the point. Are you saying that a thousand calories from protein is the same as a thousand calories from sugar? No, I'm not fucking saying that. Oh, but you're saying that hormones don't matter? Nope. Not saying that either. There are many things that make the calories in versus calories out equation more complex. For example, macronutrients have different thermic effects. You will burn more calories when you eat protein than you will when you eat carbohydrates and fat. Therefore, if you consumed 1,000 extra calories from protein, it would be less fattening than if you consumed the same 1,000 extra calories from carbs or fats. Does this mean that calories don't matter? No, because the thermic effect of food is right here. It is a known component of total daily energy expenditure, which is a fancy term for the total number of calories you burn per day. Protein also has a unique effect with regards to lean body mass. As you will burn more calories after you consume protein than other macronutrients, high protein diets may have a very slight weight loss advantage even when your calorie intake is the same. This isn't news to anyone that reads research papers. We have known that macronutrients have different thermic effects for decades. I mean literal decades. And on top of this, sources of food might make a difference. One research paper suggested that unprocessed foods may be less fattening than processed foods. Ah, so this disproves calorie balance. No, because once again, this was measured via calories burned in response to that meal. After eating the unprocessed sandwich, the thermic effect was higher. Again, this is a known variable within calories in, calories out. There are actually loads of examples of foods that may be more or less fattening than others, even when calorie intake is the same. For example, higher fibre diets may be less fattening. Not for any super magic reason that people who talk about calories aren't aware of, because they decrease the amount of metabolizable energy in the diet. You excrete out a higher percentage of the energy that you've consumed. There is research examining whether things like medium chain triglycerides are less fattening than long chain triglycerides, because MCTs may may have a teeny tiny different impact on energy expenditure, i.e. calories burned. There are research papers that also look at things like if you eat almonds, do you absorb less of that energy than if you consume almond butter? Food sources are different. They can impact the amount of energy you absorb and the amount of energy you burn. Just because these are behind the scenes factors that people don't discuss as much doesn't mean that we don't believe it. Also, we don't pretend that all humans are the same. Some people may burn fewer calories than others. Some people's metabolic rate may decline faster than others when dieting. Some people may build lean body mass or lose body fat faster than others. When people say to me, oh, you think that hormones don't matter? No, I'm not fucking saying that, and no, I don't believe it. Hormones can impact energy expenditure and appetite. We also know that testosterone can impact lean body mass and fat mass, at least at extreme ends of the spectrum. Macronutrients matter, food source matters, hormones matter. But none of this disputes calorie balance. Think of all the things I've listed that make a difference and imagine that they're all dials in front of you and turn them all up to the fucking max. Everything is stacked in your favor. You are the most metabolically efficient individual ever. You are consuming the most metabolically optimized diet in existence. Now, if you consume too many calories, you will still gain weight. It doesn't matter if you're low carb, low fat, paleo, time restricted feeding, intermittent fasting, or only eating potatoes every 4.7 days. If you consistently consume more calories than you burn, you will gain weight. And if you consistently burn more calories than you consume, you will lose weight. That is the underlying principle.